Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Spare Parts, and today I'll be taking a look at every LEGO Star Wars set retiring at the end of 2023. So that's like a couple days from now, so you better go get these if you haven't already, if you want them. But in this video, I'll be taking a look at all of them, and I have them sorted into different categories, like the helmet sets and just the regular sets. So I'll be kind of taking an ordered look at it, so if you want to skip around, find the section that best suits you as a LEGO collector, feel free to do that, but let's get into the video. Starting off with the helmet sets, we have two helmet sets retiring, and then in this section I also put like some of the kind of the brick built figures that aren't helmet sets and they aren't UCS sets, like kind of like the BD1 droid is in this section. Like that's not a helmet set, but it's not a UCS set either, so kind of weird exception there. But starting off, we have the Luke Skywalker Red 5 helmet. So this is set number 75327, and this will be retiring at the end of the year as long with set number 75343, the Dark Trooper helmet. These are both like, I don't really care about helmet sets. I know some people like them, but one of these is based on the Mandalorian, so that could be like an appeal for this set, but both of these will be gone. Next up, we have the BD-1 droids. This is a set that's from Jedi Fallen Order, which I think is like a video game. And this has been on shelves for, I think, maybe like two years now. So it is like in the age of retirement. Yeah, it's, it's an old set. It's an old man, should be retired. And then we also have the child which I think this set has been out for like four or three years, and that's like insane. I've seen the set for so long. Definitely should retire because I think it came out when Mandalorian started, which was a while ago, and there hasn't been like another Mandalorian season. I think that show is done now, so definitely should retire now. But yeah, moving on to Brickheads. All right, we have three Brickhead sets that are retiring this year, or at the end of this year, and the first one is the Battle of Endor Heroes. This is just such a weird set. It, it made it into my top 10 worst LEGO Star Wars sets of 2023 because... I don't know, I just don't really like Brickheads, but I think that a lot of these are kind of cool, and if you're into Brickheads, you should probably get it. It's pretty expensive, but it is a weird set. Like, why is the title of the set capitalized like that? Does anyone ever notice that? Like, it's the only one that's all caps. Like, every single letter in the title is all caps. I don't know if LEGO made an oopsie, but that's kind of weird. And then another Brickhead set that is retiring is the Ahsoka Tana Brickhead, and this is, I think, from Clone Wars. This is when that came out, and I think Clone Wars finished a while ago, so this should definitely be retiring. And we also have the Mandalorian and the Child Brickheads, which I think this set has literally been out for like four or five years, not four or three probably, along with the Child like helmet set, but not really a helmet set. So this definitely should go. It's been out for a while. I do think it's super cool, like with the Baby Yoda in the pod, or Baby Yoda, his name's Grogu. How could I? But yeah, I feel like this set should definitely retire too. Now on to dioramas. All right, we have Three dioramas retiring and one set that I don't think should be a diorama, but is sadly called a diorama, which I really do not like. But anyway, we'll start off with the three dioramas that are retiring. It is the Death Star Trench Run, Death Star Trash Compactor, and the Dagobah Jedi Training. So I think these are like a lot of the um, dioramas that are out now. These are like the older ones, because I know now there's like the Endor Speeder Chase and the Throne Room. And I think these are pretty good dioramas. I really like the Death Star Trash Compactor one. I think it has some pretty cool play features, but these will definitely be missed. I didn't buy any of these, but I do think they're super cool. And then the fourth one is the Millennium Falcon Holiday Diorama. Should not be called a diorama. I just don't like this set very much. It is kind of cool with all the prints, but it's not really a diorama. It's nice Lego made a Christmas set, but I just don't really like this set. So I'm glad to see it gone. I think it was only out for like <laughs> a couple months, which is kind of funny to me, but probably probably sad for some people. But anyway, yeah, moving moving on from dioramas. Now we have the regular sets. These are just like the normal LEGO Star Wars sets. This is probably the part most of you will want to watch, and I will be ordering them from like least expensive to most expensive. And starting off, we have the Snow Trooper Battle Pack. So this is a set I probably will buy before the end of the year because I have a Hoth mock up on my bookshelf over there. And that has a lot of snow troopers on it, and it would be nice to have some extra ones. And I think there's like a cool speeder build in this, so I will miss that. And there's also the ATSD 4 Plus set, which will not be missed. I absolutely hate that set. It's overpriced. I think it's like $40, and it has like a wimpy ATSD build. And the only good thing about that set is like the Scout Trooper minifigure, which I think is really good. But yeah, I will not miss that set and will not be buying it. And then next up, we have the Dark Trooper Attack set. So this is a set from The Mandalorian as well, and that should be kind of out of here by now since the Mandalorian is over and I think this is from like the second season which was was a while ago but I do like this set because it comes with a bunch of dark troopers and I think people really like those so this will be probably be like a sad set to go and then next up we have the Republic fighter tank this is a set that I wish would stay longer because I did not able to get this set and has some super cool minifigures and then next up after that we have the Imperial TIE fighter and I guess I'll group this one with the X-Wing even though that's a little bit more expensive but 
these are kind of like a pair of fighting fighting spaceships i guess and they're both retiring right now which i think they've been on shelves for like three years now which is pretty long but now there won't be like an x-wing or a tie fighter on shelves for lego fans so kind of sucks for us i guess and then after that we have obi-wan kenobi versus darth vader this is set from the kenobi show and i think that finished up like a year ago so it's probably like an average life for a set i don't like the set very much though it just kind of looks like some rocks and then they're fighting on it but yeah that'll be going away and then we have the hoth atsd another set i wish would stay longer because i still haven't gotten it and it's a hoth set although like it's only in one scene of star wars for like a second so kind of wish it would stay longer i didn't have the chance to get it i really do like that chewbacca minifigure in it though so kind of sad this is leaving next up we have the slave one oh i mean boba fett's starship the name change set and this is a set that came out, I think, with The Mandalorian. Kind of wish it would stay longer. I do have this set, and I really like it. And I think it's good to have a Slave One or F Boba Fett Starship on shelves. And I think it's a good set, but it probably should go because it is based on The Mandalorian. So that's kind of, I guess, an older show now. But yeah. Next up, we have Luke Skywalker's X-Wing, which I already told you about with the TIE Fighter. will also be retiring alongside that. And then we have the Ambush on Ferrix, which is from the... Andor show, which I never watched. I think it's based on Cassie and Andor from Rogue One, which is like an obscure character to base it on. And I always thought this set was a little overpriced for what was included. It looked like a small ring eating spaceship, so wasn't that excited about this set. And then we have the Inquisitor Transport Scythe, which a lot of people like. And I think it's probably because it's, I think, not overpriced, which is like kind of surprising in this age of Lego Star Wars, but that'll be going away, which a lot of people probably will not like. And then we have Boba Fett's Throne Room. Like, I don't like this set at all. I just think it looks really ugly. I'm actually glad it's leaving because I didn't really watch the Book of Boba Fett. So, like, the minifigures in the set don't really appeal to me. I'd much rather have the older Jabba's Palace. So, yeah. Glad this set is leaving us. And then we have the Razor Crest. This set, I wish it would stay longer. I really wish I had this. The one reason I haven't bought it yet is just I feel like the interior isn't very good. But I do like the Mandalorian. And I feel like this is the one set from that show that I really do want. And that kind of sucks that it's retired now and then we have the justifier which is very overpriced set i think a lot of people think this is overpriced i don't even know what show this is from anymore there's just so many star wars shows but that'll be retiring as well and then lastly we have the at at which i didn't know was still available i thought this retired a long time ago i don't know how long this has been on shelves but it seems like it's an older set so kind of glad it's retiring i already have an at at so i don't really need another one and i feel like this one is overpriced at 160 dollars all right, moving on to the extras before we get to the UCS set, which will be at the end of the video. An extra set for this year is the LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar, which I think will be retiring at this end of the year, which makes sense because the year is over and it's for 2023. So yeah, kind of glad it's retiring because it would be weird to have it in 2024. And then finally for UCS sets, we have the UCS Republic Gunship, very controversial UCS set. And I think it had an average life. I'm not really sure. I don't really look at how long these sets have been on shelves, but I know it is retiring. So if you really wanted that set, feel free to get it. I just, I think the minifigure controversy is like probably one of the reasons it's retiring right now. I mean, I don't know if it's, yeah, I don't know how long it's been on shelves, but it seems like Lego's trying to sweep it under the rug. So there you have it, guys. Those are all the sets retiring at the end of 2023. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.